and welcome back everybody this is your boy flyland guy we are back today with another video in the bn2 islander uh currently it's a nice uh cloudy day although these clouds in the back here aren't looking too good and we are here in st kitts today as you can see we've been here a couple times um, and we are heading over to Guadalupe, so looking forward to that flight. That should be pretty interesting. We're rocking the Wind Air livery today, <clears throat> and uh, initially I was going to make this a night flight, but um, on second thought, I decided that uh, I want to make this a daytime trip because I think, if I remember seeing the notes, a Sobo updated um, uh, some of the French Caribbean airports. I have to go and double check that just to make sure. Um, and I think Guadeloupe was in the list. Um, so not a, well. I think it was the the photogrammetry. I think it's called in the area. So um, we're gonna fly over there today just to see what's happening, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's hop in the plane though, um, pretty much ready to go as usual. Uh, we will turn the beacons on and we'll get the engine started. Everything up top should be ready to go. Oops, too far. And left side. All right. So just to double check, we are departing our runway seven here in St. Kitts today. Um, and as I mentioned to you a couple times before, this is a this is third party scenery here and the good news is that heading over to Guadalupe um, we'll be seeing some third party scenery over there as well having said that uh, shout out to Timot75 who uh, created the scenery I'll have a link to that well not this scenery but scenery in Guadalupe and I'll have that linked in the description box below um, there's a couple, a couple designers out there who are really doing the Caribbean justice. Um, there's a lot of airports that have already been, uh, well, they've, they've had third-party scenery developed, and there's a lot more that's coming. So I'm really excited about that. All right, we are started. Get the taxi lights on and we'll leave the strobes and landing lights for let me take off as usual my boy is here in the, uh, the plane with me today I forget his name though Just press something just now. Um, I just want to be able to control the plane from outside. Look, there it is. And I always forget what the button is. So, all right, should be good now.
Don't mind me, I'm just fiddling around with a couple things here. Um, you know, trying to get into the correct view. Uh, one second here. Good stuff, there we go. trying to control it from outside but um because i just like to look at the plane while i'm taxiing you know i could do it right now but if i try and switch the camera view if you look at the ailerons like raising up and down i'm not supposed to do that so Alright, so we're going to be heading on to the runway. What I'll recommend, um, <clears throat> if you want to see these airport operations in real life, um, there's a YouTuber by the name of SKB Energy that uh, he does plane spotting in St. Kitts and St. Martin. So this whole area will look very familiar with you if you watch any of his videos. Um, so I, just, I suggest you go watch uh, watch his videos as well. Um, so they're pretty interesting. He's been doing plane spotting out here for a while. Once we take off, we'll actually be doing the Kipper 1 departure. Um, I'm going to try and fly part of it by hand. Um, I think I figured out how to... I think I figured out how to do like a direct to waypoint. And, but who knows if that's going to work. Because you know I'm always messing something up. So we are lined up here on the runway now. Um, I don't know. I'm not liking those clouds right now. <coughs> but uh, yeah, we'll be heading up to 13,000 feet today. And I'm just going to set my. Oops. Come on. Set the runway, he runway heading around zero seven zero and we'll just engage that when we take off all right so we should be good to go 
Landing lights, strobes on. Let's get out of here. Gonna take our time, let the plane lift off the ground by itself. Actually, I forgot I was pretty heavy today, so didn't really want to. Could do a nice low flyby. See the airport here on the right, looking good. Doing a very shallow climb right now. make this right turn actually wait I'm supposed to be doing a left turn <laughs> sorry Trying to follow the uh, trying to follow the GPS. So we're going to be going up to thirteen thousand today, and as far as I know. Simbrief says that uh, this flight direct. Let's see where it is. Yeah, Simbrief, Simbrief says that this flight direct should take 27 minutes. But what's weird is according to. Um, According to uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, this is 52 minutes, so I'm not really 100% sure which one it is. I'm going to stick more with Simbrief, although I think it's going to be a little longer than uh, the 20-something minutes or the half an hour, whatever it is, because we're flying this um, approach and we're also flying um, an arrival as well into Guadalupe. So we're doing a horrible job of staying on the flight path right now. Try and go more direct to Maxvu. Maxvu, I think that's what it is. So yeah, man, it's been a pretty interesting slash uh, slowish day for me, as usual. Not really doing a uh, whole lot of work right now like I do have I do have things to work on it's just like pretty much just me on the project though so um, I don't really feel 
too rushed to get anything done right now. So we've been climbing steadily out. Haven't really been trying to climb too aggressively anything. This is sand kids off to our right. And as usual, clouds looking wonderful. All right, so a little tired of hand flying now. So what I'll do is I will, oops, turn on the autopilot. Avmer could come on because it, it is it was was heading to max view anyway, so I'm just gonna turn back towards it. Let's just keep going with the five hundred. Let's keep going with that 500 feet per minute climb. All right, so as I mentioned before, um, sorry, I've just been really trying to enjoy the flight. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, uh, we're heading over to Guadalupe. So Guadalupe is in the Windward Islands as well, um, pretty much in the, the BN2 Island for the, the past little while we've been kind of just bouncing around um, in, the, in the Eastern Caribbean, uh, pretty much in the, uh, in the Leeward Islands area, so um, we've been to St. Lucia, we were in Antigua, um, we were in Nevis, we've gone up to, what else have we gone to? I don't remember, oh, we went to, I'm trying to zoom in, because I, I don't remember exactly where it was, but we had to fly past uh, St. Martin to get to it. What was that? Let me go and look it up. Because <laughs> I really don't remember. Uh, Anguilla. That's a real gun. So, yeah, today we're essentially heading in the opposite direction. Um, so, Anguilla was up north, Guadalupe is down south. And um, yeah, just interested to see how the scenery looks. Um, from what I've seen, in uh, like from where I got, where I downloaded the scenery from, uh, Guadalupe looks awesome. It looks awesome, and um, I like the way the airport's laid out as well. So that's where we're gonna be heading, and. I will talk to you guys when we reach there. <laughs> I don't really have too, too much to say today, so um, we're just going to sit back and enjoy the flight, and uh, I will hit you guys up once we start our descent into Guadalupe, right? 
This is your boy Flyland Guy. I'll be back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've started our descent into Guadalupe. Um, right now, we're just descending down to 3,600 feet. And we're actually doing an interesting approach. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why it's this way. Um, but here's what I think is happening. Essentially, <clears throat> so we're supposed to be doing uh, the Bimbo 5P arrival. I believe that's what it is. And it looks like pretty much what what's going to happen on our current flight plan is we are going to fly directly to the airport and we're going to fly pretty much directly over it and then we'll be turning uh... let's see we're going to be turning and heading out to uh, uh, 11 DME away from the airport in fact, it's not even away from the airport, sorry, it's away f we're heading towards this <coughs> this uh, VOR and or no, it looks like an NDB actually so we are going to head towards this, this NDB then we're going to turn and head out 11 DME from the uh, DME and then we're going to do a kind of procedure turn and head back in for the ILS uh, runway one to approach. So I think that's pretty much overkill for this aircraft. I mean, we could have just flown in straight if we wanted to, but you know, no complaints. And the interesting thing is right now, okay, there you go. I set my, uh, I set the altimeter for 3,600 feet and it pretty much just went right past it. So, yeah. But here we go. We are pretty much over uh, Guadalupe now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the going to set the uh, I'm trying to find it the frequency for the ILS which is 112.9 so gonna go ahead and pop that in for now and I just want to try this ILS approach see if we can actually do it <coughs> and what I'll do is like once we are on this procedure turn and we're coming back in then I will arm the localizer well I'll try and capture the localizer on the way back and then see if we can do the ILS approach. We'll see what happens. I've never done the ILS approach in this aircraft, so I actually have no idea if it's gonna work or not. And um, I mean, this plane's so small, we don't really need to do it. It's not that serious. All right, so as you can see, let's just go outside real quick, so this looks amazing. All right. 
So this area was definitely updated by a sobo. I just want to get off these clouds. Should get a better view now. Look at that. So this isn't amazing, man. I don't know what is. Have to get a screenshot of that real quick. That looks absolutely awesome. So as I mentioned before, the um, photo, I don't know how to pronounce that, photogrammetry in this area was updated uh, by a server. And like look, at, like, look how amazing this looks, man. Beautiful. Alright. So we're just turning to that uh, that um, NDB now. If you look here in Navigraph, we are Turning towards it, so we're heading here. And that looks absolutely amazing. Got the little boat right here. Obviously that's just a picture. <laughs> that boat is going nowhere fast. There's another one right there. Telling you, man, this is what makes this is what makes uh, makes it worth flying, you know. All right, just gonna zoom in the GPS real quick. So we pretty much should be right next to the airport at this point. But uh, just kind of sucks. I can't see very much out the windows. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Sam's been just blowing me away like non-stop man just oh, this is what I've been hoping for with this Caribbean flying you know I could tell you X-Plane never gave me this that just looks ridiculous holy frick Tell you man, every single flight I've made recently, I just get blown away by the scenery because it just looks so good. Wow. Alright. I should probably get back to flying the plane now. The only thing is, I've missed the airport. Um, is it's actually behind us now all right so now we're heading towards DME 11 
Look, oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. keep popping out to take a screenshot because this is insane how good this looks okay so I came right down to 3600 feet <laughs> I don't think I should have done that um Oh no, maybe that's right. That just seems uncomfortably close to this mountain. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to start this uh, right turn. This approach is really overkill for this aircraft. It's probably better for me to just do like the RNAV, maybe the RNAV approach would have been better. But I mean, I'm not minding these views at all though. Now the only thing I wished is that they updated the um, I wish they updated the 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 trees and stuff just to look a little more like um, what's on the island. I'm not saying this is bad by any means, but I mean we should be you able to see things like palm trees and stuff like that, mangroves, all that stuff. But I mean, still insane. And now I'm just so glad I got to, I decided to do this flight. So this has made it totally worth it, man. All right, so we're gonna be starting back uh, any second now. This is going to be like a weirdly sharp turn, so I don't know how <laughs> the autopilot is going to pull this one off, but uh, we'll see. Alright, well, moment of truth, here we go, look at that. Insane, you all. Insane. So it's just me you think the sim can't get any better, man. Alright, so once we get back established on this uh, this flight path, I'm gonna put the um, GPS into well, I'm gonna tune it to uh, loc or localizer. 
Um, so we already have the frequency dialed in. So let's go ahead and let's switch to nav source. Let's see if it actually turns. Or if it actually picks up the localizer. I don't know. Uh, nope, it didn't. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that's fine. What I'm going to do is autopilot's going to come off. And we're just going to hand fly this, this approach from here. So I'm not 100% sure why that didn't work. One twelve dot nine is the that's the correct frequency. Well, it's all right. It's a clear enough day. That's something I'll have to. I'll have to try out again at some point. Oh, I could maybe see if it'll capture the localizer. I do this. buy it again. Okay. Alright, not a big deal. Airport is right ahead of us in the distance. Should be it right there. At least I sincerely hope so. <laughs> Actually, it's probably not. That is not the airport. What the heck is that? The airport's right there. <laughs> oh, that would have been embarrassing. Okay. I actually quite enjoy hand flying this plane because it's just really easy to operate.
according to the Pappy is pretty low right now. So I'm just gonna maintain a shallow to no descent until the Pappy start turning white again. This is the Guadalupe Capital, off to the right. really just enjoying the sights and sounds right now. This area is looking good, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guadalupe. This has been like hands down the most casual landing I've ever done. <laughs> As I say, this guy is a third party. This is third party scenery here, as far as I know. And as usual, just as we're about to taxi in, some vehicle wants to get in our way. third party scenery. Not a hundred percent sure by the looks of things here. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure this isn't third party, but thought I installed it correctly, but I didn't, so it's all good. A lot of times when you see these kind of these big buildings here at the airport, it normally means it's not third party. You're not gonna see buildings like this at a at a small airport, you know? Just gonna pull in here and we shall call it a day. That's it folks, hope you enjoyed the flight because I surely did, especially the scenery coming in. I'm going to go back and take a look at that because this was definitely supposed to be a third party scenery. Um, so I'm not really too sure what happened there. But <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll start off my next flight from here. Um, I'll see if I can get it working. And... Uh, you could give it another try. You know what I mean? That's it. It's your boy Flyland Guy. Um, as I said, hope you enjoyed the flight. I'll be back soon with a, a new flight. In fact, we will be starting off again from Nassau. Um, and we'll be heading over to... I just realized something. <laughs> the actual terminal is over here did not realize that <laughs> i parked on the wrong side of the airport but that's fine we'll, we'll start from here again <laughs> i won't take a proper look at it all right um but as i said i, I was saying just now next flight uh we'll be <clears throat> continuing our on-air adventures from uh nassau and we're going to be getting up to level five and then from there we're going to start uh our on-air adventures we're going to carry them over to europe so i'm excited about that all right so this is your boy flyland guy thank you very very much for watching uh be sure to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you next time stay safe and most of all stay fly peace